Hi, it's Lisa. It is Marriage and Money Mondays. Yay. Um, so today I want to talk to you about marriage and money personalities. Um, had a very robust discussion. Actually, Keith and I sort of tag teamed <laughs> this conversation yesterday at church. Uh, Keith was having a conversation with one of the guys uh, that's on the photography team, um, and I was ready to go, I'm just going to say. And so I go over so I can collect my husband so we can leave church, and then I get sucked into the conversation, and Keith leaves. And <laughs> so David and I had a chance to really dig in, and it turns out that Keith and David are very similar and their money personalities and me and David's wife are very similar in our money personalities. I've said many times that Keith will give you the shirt off his back. I am going to keep my shirt and help you find your own. And so David could relate to that in so many ways um, because he's much more uh, free uh, with his thought process around money and his wife. Um, is much more reserved. Um, and honestly, um, both David's wife and me uh, have uh, had to overcome what it means to live in a spirit of lack as it relates to money. Um, and so what I shared with David yesterday is what I'm sharing with you today. Um, and that's all about understanding and honoring your money personalities in your marriage. Um, so I want to use the the giving scenario because that one is one that Keith and I butt up against a lot. Um, and so I've mentioned to you many times before that the way that we handle that, the way that we make that work for us is by putting giving in the into the budget, not tithing. I have no issue with tithing whatsoever. We are good on tithing. We tithe on growth, gross. Uh, but um, in terms of giving, giving is a struggle for me because that's not my primary um, money personality, right? Um, and so because that's not my primary money personality, just freely sharing, then I want to hold on to that just a little bit more. And um, we had to find a way to honor both money personalities in our marriage. And that's the heart of what I want to talk about today. How do you do that? How do you honor both money personalities in your marriage? Well, we call it getting to a place of win, win, win. Okay. When the husband feels like they are loved, when the wife feels like she is loved and the marriage feels like they are loved and you, your marriage feels loved. The marriage is a Holy spirit, uh, for those that are Christian, um, and your marriage feels loved, um, when it's about the marriage and it's not about your individual goals or your spouse's individual goals. Right. Okay. Um, and so remember, I say often that marriage is the most selfless thing that you will ever do. So dialogue is so important. And this is where having those, um, those very open and I'm going to say vulnerable conversations um, as it relates uh, to how people are, how you and your spouse are, are, are working together. That is very important. Okay. Um, this was a little longer than I anticipated, but I felt like I needed to unpack that just a little bit more. So a great exercise for you and your spouse, uh, which is the exercise that I gave David for him and his wife, um, is to read financial seasons. Yay. What a concept. Cause Keith and I deal with almost every type of, uh, money um, personality in financial seasons. So just read one day to uh, today with you and your spouse. It'll take you about 10 minutes to read it. Um, and then maybe over dinner or right before bed or whatever one-on-one uh, -on -one time you guys have today, just unpack it from the lens of your money personality. How does this versus that um, uh, impact you? Uh, reach out if you need more. I hope that's helpful. Bye.